guys this is general classes for you today we shall discuss a brief topic hopewood house study it is one of the dietary studies done on controlled human populations before moving on to the topic let me inform you that there is a telegram group link which has been given in the description box it deals with public health industry discussions and mcq sessions daily so people who are interested please join now moving on to the topic this hopewood house study was done at hopewood house which is present at bowral new south wales a picture of it has been given here okay this was done by sullivan and harris it was a 10 year old longitudinal study it was done in children between 7 to 14 years of age okay also you must know that these children had been brought up there that is they were living there from early infancy so now what are the two important features of their diet they are absence of meat and rigid restriction of refined carbohydrates that is they had not been given meat and refined carbohydrates their diet was strictly natural they were vegetable in nature and largely raw with the exception of occasionally being given egg yolk they were also supplemented by vitamin concentrates and occasionally nuts and sweetening agents like honey were given there was also only significant amount of fluoride in water and food they consumed also they did not consume any tea so that was their diet now at the end of the study that is when the children were about 13 years old their dmft was calculated you know dmft right that is decayed missing failed teeth index was calculated and a mean value of dmft per child was obtained to be 1.6 okay 1.6 while in the same age group seen in general population the value was huge it was 10.7 also we can find that 53 percentage of children at the hopewood house was caries free while only in 0.4 percentage in state school children they were caries free also the children at hopewood house had poor oral hygiene calculus was rare but there was gingivitis prevalent in about 75 percentage children so Now, since we have discussed what the study is, let's move on to what we have inferred from the study. We can see that the dental caries can be reduced by a Spartan diet, even in the presence of poor oral hygiene, even without the beneficial action of fluoride, at least in the institutionalized children. So that's all about Hopewood House study. Let me summarize it. Okay, it was done by Sullivan and Harris at Hopewood House, Bowral, New South Wales. It is done as a ten-year-old longitudinal study on children between seven to fourteen years. The two principal features of their diet are no meat and no refined carbohydrates were given. There was strictly natural diet, vegetable in nature. They were occasionally given egg yolk, nuts, honey. Their diet was supplemented by vitamin concentrates. There was insignificant amount of fluoride in water and food they had. and no tea was consumed okay and when the study was completed in 13 year old children it was seen that at hopewood house dmft was 1.6 per child while in general population the value was 10.7 now 53 percentage of children at hopewood house was caries free while only 0.4 percentage of children in state school children at the similar age was caries free Also, in these children, there was poor oral hygiene and calculus was rare, but gingivitis was seen in seventy-five percent of these children. Finally, we have an inference that dental caries can be reduced by a Spartan diet, even in the presence of poor oral hygiene, without fluoride's beneficial action, at least in these institutionalized children. So that's all about the topic. Hope you have understood the topic. For more such videos, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.